might need to flip this thing around to be able to get to it better. I think I'll do that. Ah. Well, that handle's going to be up there on top of the dryer and then it ain't going to set flat. I'll try and see. I don't think it's going to work. I don't want to scratch up the top of the dryer any more than it already is either. Ah, I think it's going to be okay. It just won't go up under there like it did. Still seems to be Oddly enough, you know, it wants to go up over the top edge when you're going this direction. But when you go that way, it doesn't seem to want to clean it as good. And it will bind up in some sometimes too. Cause it, but it's pulling it down that way, which is actually kind of good yep, when it's flipped over. But it just seems to be the same spot that it wasn't cleaning as clean in there. I don't know why that. Maybe because I can... Do that better? I'm not sure. Yeah, see, even all that stuff that I was skipping because it just didn't seem like it wanted to come off. It doesn't all have to be off there, I'm sure, as long as you get down to the raw groove. Get away, get all that felt off of there. Poking my finger. <sighs> Keep banging it. There's something in there, I think. Getting me. Yeah. See these fingers? Well, that one doesn't. These fingers have holes in them. Most of, a lot of these, and stuff gets in there real easy. But this 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 one don't have holes in it. And this the one's it's probably got crap in it. Sometimes I blow them out with the air blower, but. I don't know if I want to need to do that yet. Let's see. Going down and hitting that sealer down there. I don't guess it matters that much. But... Gets away from you, goes that way when you're when you're turned around the other way. Goes down. And I knew it was going to clean some of that off. Get the access sealer from the assembly. Excess, not when I was the other way, it kept burying into that. This way, it doesn't put too much pressure down that way. Got a funny smell to it when it gets hot. Might be that I'm smelling. I just now started really smelling it. Try going this way now. I've got a 
I'm going to the bank of the metal that's in with one instant. Getting gummed up. Probably gummed up with that sealer stuff. Starting to bounce. I'm almost done. Yeah, that's that stuff. I'm hitting another spot of that stuff. And I smell that smell again. And it's sticking and bouncing again. That stuff gets gooey when it gets hot, that sealer. I don't care if the others, I just was going, I was fixing to try to dress it up where I hit it, but I'm not going to mess with it. I don't want to take it out of there. I think there's, oh, there's a hold there. I don't know if it goes all the way through. No, it doesn't. Oh, that's the, the, the uh, screen for the lint trap. But yeah, there's a it's like a indentation, but it's not a hole. I don't know. There might be holes in it. I'm thinking, oh, maybe I'll pour some better pour some glue in there or something. Let's finish this up. I think I pretty well got it. Well, glue's left on there is stuck good and is raw now, so I can. Should be able to glue back to it, you know. So that should be all right. Let's turn it back around this other way. I think I'm gonna have to, thinking about how I'm gonna clean it up. Now if I get my vacuum out, that means I'll have to. Move all that stuff I didn't want to move to get to that Makita drill. Uh, I could take it out the back door and blow it off with uh, my airline. It'll reach back there. Have to open the front door to get it, get to it. But I leave just enough I can, out that I can blow myself off and all that stuff. But uh, I don't know. We'll think about it. Finish making sure I got it done. Yeah, right here is where the where well, there's a, a rectangular hole. It's like the stuff is not, it's not on the edge. It's just like in there, there, and there. And the, but it's all the way around those edges. So that's how I knew for sure whether it was sealer. But uh, well, that needs cleaning now. Ugh. Boy, that stuff got in my mouth. It's not good. <coughs> not good at all. Okay, uh, don't taste good. I wish I would have remembered to get that shield when I went in the house. I, might, I would have put it on and seen if I could use it. And I think there is a hole in there. Isn't that stuff that's, it's no good anymore, that stuff that I hit with that. I'll put something in there, I guess. I'll put some of that glue in there because I can't put silicone in there. Too much heat. Whatever this is, it doesn't ever completely harden. It must be pretty good stuff. It's It's been in here and, and it's not showing any signs of letting go or anything for all these years. I don't know if it... Where's my magnifying glass? I don't know if it, it actually needs it 
to be completely filled in. I can see a a line that I thought might go all the way through. No, yeah. but that that whole rectangular space is, uh, you know, it's it's got a bottom in it, but there is a line that I'm wondering if it. That might be where, like, something inside of there, like, the thing that part of the lint trap area, maybe it's, like, that trim around it, it might snap through there and the hold, that's how it's held in. And so then they seal it, back seal it. Uh, I'll, I'll probably just use some of the glue. That's the only thing I can think of that would handle, handle heat. Well, I got RTV for automobiles. That handles heat. Maybe I'll use that. Yeah, I, I've got some that can be close to exhaust and stuff, I think. I think you can use it on exhaust. If I do, if I have some of that, that's what I'll put in there. I don't know if it really matters, but I don't want to... This really... This here I'd like to kind of clean up. Yeah, I'm thinking... I do not like... I, at least this was at the end of the day, but I hate this kind of stuff. I hate breathing it and having it all over me. Especially when you don't even really know what it is. Some kind of glue. But uh, so blowing it off will just it's gonna most of it's gonna come back on me is what I'm thinking. I guess I can take my earplugs out now. I do not like it. Listening to my voice Ah with earplugs on. Sounds really weird. Makes it too loud. Is that still working? That's still working. I haven't looked at the phone in a while. I hope I don't. I don't think it'll be run down yet, but I do need to keep an eye on it. If it runs down, you you get no sound. But but the camera thinks it's got a mic because it's got a cable plugged into it with a signal. It'd just be a dead signal. Okay, let me. Uh, I'm gonna get the vacuum. It won't, the blower will kind of clean things better, but it'll really get stuff off that the vacuum can't budge. You know, but I don't want to breathe I don't want more of it on me than it's already on me he's moving all this stuff <clears throat> I'm gonna blow off and, and wash my mouth out too before I even do any more actual work I'll turn this around to where I'm going I guess can't really tell what am I doing yeah that's about right <sighs> Now this is when an air bath really comes in handy. Oh, just socked myself in the safety glass with my fist. I bet you can hear that air when it hits that mic. Oh. This is what we depend. We de everybody in the cabinet shop depending on those to be able to stand yourself when you're ready to go home, or maybe a couple. I usually would do it before lunch, sometimes too, depending on how tired I was. But uh, 
On Fridays, it's funny the young guys would wear nice clothes, try not to rip them all, you know, during the day, and then, <laughs> and then we'd take that air bath and then go out to the cl- the bar or the restaurant. Or sometimes we'd go take their, you know, girlfriend out to the restaurant. <laughs> they still s- smell like sawdust and everything. Of course, sawdust is well, oak doesn't smell fantastic, but it's all right. Pine smells good. Some of the other wood smelled really bad though. Black uh black walnut is toxic. Make you sick. If you breathe too much of it, I think you could even die. We only use that on one job. And I had never used it before. Let's see, I gotta put some of this stuff back in their place. That's alright. The only thing I got out of that nail bag was my clamp that I'm fixing to use. But in order to get to the, uh, in order to get to the, uh, uh, I, I didn't want to move all this, but now I'm, I have to if I'm going to get to the, uh, this, I, I, I've got a, oh, the screws, where are they? I haven't put them back yet. I've got screws out that I need to put back before I, Put everything back on top of this thing. Okay. I knew I was forgetting something. I just didn't know what. There we go. Back to normal, I think. Yep. Yeah, the way I've got everything packed in here, it takes... Long as long to get things out and clean up as it does to do the job if you got to get all your tools out. <laughs> uh, I've got some of them over here because I wanted to uh, shop for new batteries for them. I got a Makita six volt drill and I've got a DeWalt twelve volt. And it nothing wrong with the drill. The 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 batteries just went bad and you couldn't even get them. At, but now you can get or you unless they quit selling them again. But I saw them like a year or two ago, but I didn't have, well, I didn't really have the money, or I didn't want to know I had it, I didn't want to spend it. And, uh, anyway, then the last time I was, when I ended up buying these 20 volt batteries and everything, I noticed that all the, I kind of glanced at some of the other ones. They were a lot more scarce again. So, uh, I was like, should have got them when they were available. But, uh, uh Gotta put things where I can get two things. There we go. This time when I put this this uh, vacuum up the last time, I tried, I made sure I could put it to where I could get to it. But I'm getting all the way back out again this time. So, yeah, I could have I could have got to it too. I had it in just the right way. Could have got to the hose out with that and use it right here. But since I need to go all the way over there, then didn't matter because I got a and I'm getting sore. I don't that long extension is gonna hang on stuff. I'll take it off of there too. We'll carry it. I'm getting hung up on those extension cords. Okay, you, you stay on the back of the vacuum until I'm ready for you. Right there. Okay. This whole cord always falls off. So you might as well take the whole thing off. This is a good vacuum. Best, best uh, shop vac I've ever had. There we go. I guess it's the only second one I've really ever picked out and when gone. But, uh, all right, back to the work area. What's the best way to go? Like that. Okay, vacuum time.
Yeah, now I know a bunch of that went down in the door, so let's see. Get it before I can get the door open. There we go. It's not going to set up on its own, I don't think. Ugh. 